If you're into overclocking your bidax to boost the hash rates, they've recently changed the technique on how you overclock your bidax, especially if you want to go beyond the predefined limits of how far AxOS will allow you to overclock. Now, be sure to check out my full video on how to overclock your bidax, especially the parts about upgrading the cooling and upgrading the power supply, because you definitely can destroy both. And for this reason, there's also some safeguards that are built into AxOS. Now, if you're gonna wanna push the limits of overclocking here, this is only gonna apply with the newest firmware versions. And if we take a look here, uh, this is gonna be true as of firmware version 2.6.1 or any newer firmware versions that come out as well. Now, if you take a look, you can see right now, I do have this bidax overclocked. It's at 950 and 1300. However, if I just select the default options, like I'm starting from the baseline here, I don't actually have the option of going higher than 625 here or higher than 1250 on the voltage. And if you wanna go beyond this limits after you've upgraded your cooling and your power supply, the new way to go higher is to go into the URL and you're gonna add the text question mark OC, as in overclock. And once you do that, we'll hit go. You can see now it actually gives us a warning about overclocking beyond the design parameters. And we have the ability here to manually go in and type uh, whatever options we want. And so you can kind of manually start to slowly tick this up uh, as you're experimenting and starting to uh, push the limits. Now you'll notice though that there's no longer an option where it shows you what the default settings are or letting you just kind of like conveniently choose different options. You only have the ability here to just manually type in different options as you want. And so if you ever wanna see kind of like the built-in options again, you do have the option here uh, to disable the overclock mode. And if you tap that, uh, it's gonna go back to kind of like the standard method here with the drop-down boxes so you can see what all the different options are. And so as you wish, you can go back and forth uh, between enabling and disabling here the different overclocked options. And so with the safeguards removed, it's gonna allow you to choose settings that are much higher or incorrectly choose some that are much lower. But once again, remember this is an advanced option, this is a hidden option, and so do so at your own risk.